I'm actually from Ohio. Yeah, that's right. That, that's, that, that felt as welcoming as it should have. <laughs> Man, if you've never been to Ohio, you, you don't got them. You absolutely don't. I don't care who died there. Send an email, okay? You do not have to go. It's so trash. Oh, my God. I'm not even from, like, a fun part of Ohio. I didn't get, like, Cleveland or Cincinnati, nothing fun. I'm from the middle of nowhere, like, hour west of Columbus, surrounded by cornfields, country the sticks we call it population like 1500 people like the kind of small town where like the gas station's also the grocery store you know what i mean fuck around get some sandwiches and some diesel you here why not save a trip my hometown was so country man we used to have uh we used to have drive your tractor to school day <laughs> swear to god do you guys remember school spirit week well, like every day of the week would have a theme to it, like pajama day or twin day. We would have one day in that week when like the rich kids would pull up and just fucking flex on us, John Deere style. And the women in my school would just get wet. Like, oh my Lord, he's got land. Cause that's all people cared about where I was from was fucking farming. Like you didn't need eight inches if you had eight acres. Like that was... <laughs> That was the biggest flex you could come with. You couldn't compete with a farmer. If he's plowing land, he could plow your bitch, straight up. Like, there's just nothing you could do. Nothing you could do. But it's the type of small town where, like, life just kind of dissipates. You know what I mean? Like, everyone lives the exact same life timeline. Like, you, you, you go to high school, you get pregnant, <laughs> then you graduate. <laughs> Maybe. And then you get a job, get married, and so on and so forth. Then you die in this hometown. It's depressing. There's nothing to do. There's nothing to do for fun there. Everybody just drinks and does drugs. But not cool like we do it. You know? <laughs> you know? Theirs is because they're sad. <laughs> so depressing, man. I didn't realize drugs were as big of a problem when I was living there. But apparently it's gotten worse. Um, I found out about three or four weeks ago, this kid who I went to school with, he was like two grades older than me. We didn't know each other too well. There's only like 300 people in a school, so we kind of know each other. Found out like three or four weeks ago, this kid um, OD'd from heroin in this town at, at his job. The same job he got when we were in high school. He lived and died there. And obviously the whole town got together and they mourned the loss of their dealer. <laughs> No, guys, don't get weird, okay? There was, no, there's a silver lining moment. The whole town, I swear to God, they started a GoFundMe and they raised enough money so that they could get him a memorial bench at his favorite park, which I thought was a really sweet memento, you know, to provide other people seating to do their heroin. I've never done heroin, but I imagine you want to sit down. Okay, whatever. You guys don't know him. Okay, I'm just giving you a little perspective. That I, I, I could have been a bench, okay? But I'm not. <laughs> I'm nothing like where I'm from. It's so weird. I'm good looking. I don't like it any more than you guys do, okay? This is not good for comedy, okay? And it's so weird for me. My looks are so confusing to me because you guys haven't known me my entire life, so you have no context of this, but... This shit just happened. <laughs> Puberty hit me so disrespectfully late. I was ugly as shit for the first 22 years of my life. I was so ugly for so long. If I would have been on Wayfair, they would have returned me immediately. Like, I was so <laughs> ugly. No, don't owe, okay? I spent the first 22 years of my life building a personality for what? <laughs> You think I need to be funny now? No, it's a fucking waste of my time, to be honest. It's gotten me nowhere. <laughs> oh, and, it, and it's so weird because when you spend so much of your life as one thing and then you're drastically changing to something else overnight, it fucks with you emotionally. Like I still, it's still so new to me that I don't quite grasp it. It doesn't, I don't see myself that way. Like, I know I look like every fuck boy ever, but I do identify as an ugly person. So, um, I, I think that does technically make me trans. Um, trans handsome, transom. Uh, 
We wait till we get our bathrooms. It's gonna be all mirrors, bunch of pretty people doing cocaine. It's gonna be dope, and y'all can't come. <laughs> it's so weird, man. It's such a drastic lifestyle change, too, because people treat you so different. Like, nobody likes attractive people, right? You assume their lives are easier. Like, there's no sympathy for pretty people at all. Which is uh, another thing you guys might not know about me is I have clinical depression and an anxiety disorder. And you guys are just waiting for the punchline. That's how <laughs> fucked up it is that I, that I can come up here and vent to y'all basically being like, help! And y'all like, get your cute ass out of here. <laughs> and it's not funny. Awesome. Okay. It, it, it's so weird. There's no sympathy for pretty people. No one gives a fuck how sad you are if you have high cheekbones at all. <laughs> People act like I don't have any problems at all. I could be crying my eyes out in bed and people are just like, what could you possibly be so upset about, huh? I bet you're just swimming in pussy. And it's like, yeah, but <laughs> you know what I'm not swimming in? Self-confidence, security, believe it or not. Someone who listens to me. I can't even hang myself because my jawline will cut the fucking rope. <laughs> And I'm just on the ground, handsome. <laughs> Even if I did die, it's gotta be an open casket. People are like, God damn, he looks good in a suit. That's really nice. That's, blue is his color. That is nice. <laughs> There's no sympathy for pretty people. You guys are lucky. <laughs> Count your blessings, uggos. Shit ain't sweet up here either, okay? Everybody's dealing with shit. I just want you to remember that. Remember that. Next time you're in bed, having the worst day, crying your eyes out, and your friends are by your bedside, are blowing up your phone, like, oh my God, are you okay? Is there anything we can do to make you feel better? What's wrong? Just remember, it means you're ugly. <laughs> I don't make up the rules, okay? I'm sorry. If you were cute, they'd be like, get up, bitch. We're going to the club. Three milli rocks. Be right back to it. No problem, but rules are rules. <laughs> It's weird because it's given, me, um, it's given me the perspective of not judging people based on how they look. I'm a big fan of that. That's why I like the masks. <laughs> Love it. You don't know who's ugly with a mask on, do you? It's kind of a fun game to play, isn't it? Just walking through the grocery store like, does this bitch have a beak? Like, you don't know. <laughs> You don't know what people's situations are. You gotta get to know them before you can judge. Like, you wouldn't be able to just assume I'm a douchebag if I have my mask on. You'd have no basis. I could walk into any Starbucks with my mask on. They would just think I'm any random lesbian. You know what I mean? I could be anybody. <laughs> could be anybody. Go in, they're like, what's your name? I'm like, Matt. They're like, you are so brave. 